It's the stuff dreams are made of, and what every kid imagines while emulating their heroes in the backyard. So following Jamie Elliott's incredible effort after the siren, we here at Fox Sports thought we'd take a look back at the hardest shots for goal with the game on the line over the past 20 years. Millions of people around the country, a handstand next to him to put him off. In comes Longmuir to take his kick. Ice cool, ice cool. Fremantle have won after the siren. Look at that. Before we get into the list, an honourable mention must go to Luke Shuey's clutch goal during the 2017 elimination final against Port Adelaide. While the degree of difficulty on the shot wasn't too high, given the circumstances, it'd be remiss of us not to allude to this remarkable moment. Luke Shuey kicks after the siren in extra time to send the West Coast Eagles on in season 2017. He's kicked the goal. words that every Hawks supporter would come to rue following the 2008 Grand Final. But they don't have the psychological, the psychological drive that we have. We've beaten Geelong when it mattered. After eight straight losses following the Kennet curse, it finally looked to be coming to an end after Hawthorne rallied from 51 points down to hit the front. But a mark from Tom Hawkins with seconds to spare would prolong the Hawks' misery. He can go the distance. Well, we want to freshen up here. This for the game then. Kickers on the way. Siren's gone. They've done it again. They've done it again, the Cats. Languishing in the bottom four midway through the 2013 season, not many expected the Lions to challenge the top of the ladder Cats. And after falling behind by 52 points, the game was largely following the script. But in a furious fourth quarter comeback, it was milestone man Ash McGrath who would have the final say in what would come to be known as the miracle on grass. This is better than a fairy tale. You can't dream these scenarios. Ashley McGrath in his 200th game, a behind, will create a draw, a goal, will give the Lions an incredible victory. Ash McGrath comes in, it's on its way, it's there! The miracle of grass! The Brisbane Lions have kicked eight goals in the last quarter, and at the 11th hour, they have won. Anything's possible after this. Anything, Jono! Oh, I'm with you, Hutto. Don't worry about that. That was unbelievable. What a win from the Brisbane Lions. Leading by 37 points, heading into the final quarter against the bottom-ranked Blues. Geelong looked to have lost the unlosable game when Matthew Lappin was awarded a dubious 50-minute penalty in the dying seconds of the match. Carlton are going to win the game! I've never seen anything like it in my life, Brian. I have never seen a game like it. They are going to win the game. But in a season of disappointment for Carlton, they had their hearts broken at the death when a floater from Peter Riccardi sailed through for a goal, despite protests from the Blues insisting they had touched it. It is in good hands. On the day for Peter Riccardi, one of the most skilled exponents of the set shot in the game. Let's watch the fate of the match riding on Peter Riccardi. It leaves the boot, it's swinging back. It's oh. from the jaws of defeat at Colonial Stadium, what a finish! I told you they'd win! There's arguably no fiercer rivalry in the AFL than the one between the Crows and the Power. And it was star recruit Jordan Dawson who found himself with the weight of the city on his shoulders in his very first showdown. Lauded for his kicking skills, Dawson edged his name into South Australian football lore with the most beautiful of missed kicks. There's nothing the coaches can do. It's only one man to cover himself in glory. Just coming back. And got there. The scenes at the Adelaide Oval. In a season that up to that point had been dominated by uncertainty due to COVID-19, the Power and Blues served up one of the games of the year 
before Robbie Gray gave the 3,510 fans of the Gabba a first-hand look at why he's one of the best players in the competition. The game is on his boot. He is the man in the arena. And all eyes are on Robbie Gray. And when everyone else missed, when the moment came, he seized it like no one else. Robbie Gray! The Masters of the Close Finish in 2022, riding an eight-game win streak in which seven of those victories had been decided by two goals or less. Collingwood's amazing run seemed to be coming to an end after they let a 37-point lead slip to the Bombers. But the kings of the cardiac finish weren't done with yet. Jamie Elliott to win the game for Collingwood. There's the siren. Arms in the air. Jamie Elliott has won the game of footy for this famous club. Unbelievable! A month after experiencing heartbreak at the hands of Grey and the Power, the Blues looked set to fall just short again, this time on the opposite side of the country against the Dockers. 14 seconds left, that's out in the full. The one thing you couldn't do. I reckon Casbolt should have taken the run. Downfield, oh, we got a downfield down free. Downfield, it's a late hit. Oh, it's wow. downfield. Okay. So, shots for goal. It's going to go to Gibbons. Given a reprieve thanks to a dubious free kick. In his first year as a Blue, Jack Nunes ensured he'd be immortalised by Blues fans, ignoring the wet and slippery conditions to kick arguably the greatest after the side goal in AFL history. Set shot, he strikes! 